here's the latest that I've got from Libya. For one, they're flying the green flag of the Libyan Jamariah. Uh, it was raised over parts of Benghazi. The green flag was also raised in parts of Cyrenaica. Um, I think that's how you say it. There are continuing reports of clashes at Tripoli, which means resistance to the aggression of NATO has entered a new phase. NATO mercenary commanders are claiming that all of the rebels who attempted to storm Sirte and Bani Walid were killed. He calls them rats and nuts. Those are the rebels, okay? There are NATO rebel rats on the ground attacking Bani Walid. The campaign against Bani Walid is now a NATO air campaign, but NATO may be considering in the introduction of mercenary troops that will try to take Bani Walid. In other words, the rebels who are there have been there. They have either fled or they've been killed. Um, yesterday, Agence France Press reported that the Libyan Defense Forces advances involved the use of grads 15 kilometers from Beni Bani Walid, which forced the mercenaries to flee in panic. The rats, by their own estimates, have lost a thousand terrorists and mercenaries at Bani Walid, or Beni Walid. Um, the Women's Committee of Saba, Sirte, Bani Walid, and other cities have taken up arms to expel the invaders. The women are taking up arms. The fighting in Sirte stopped for seven days, according to the rebels who claimed they ran out of ammunition. Back in 2005, Gaddafi ordered unlimited or offered offered unlimited residence permits for all the Malayan Tareks and the Niger citizens in Libya. So apparently there was some trouble going on over there. Gaddafi said, you know something? You can come to Libya and live here. No problem. So they're returning the favor. The Taregs, they have uh, sent him their best troops to protect him. And apparently they're guiding him through the desert, protecting him at all times. When the Taregs find food going to the rebels, they're confiscating the food and they're burying those who are well, driving the food trucks. So they're getting killed. Um, in, in other words, there's a hell of a resistance being put up in Libya for Gaddafi. Now ask yourself, if Gaddafi was that hated, would it make sense that the people would rally around him and after almost going on seven months of bombing by NATO, that he could still survive? Does that make any sense? Of course not. The Women's Committee of Libya in Saba, in Sirte, Bani Walid, and in other cities said that women have taken up arms to expel the invaders from Libya. More than 85% of Libya is under the control of the Libyan military, which includes such cities as Sirte, Brega, Bani Walid, Roslanov, Taruna, Saba, and Zawiya. The latest reports also indicate that 70% of Tripoli and 50% of Misrata is under the control of the Libyan military. Even in the NATO rebel stronghold city in Benghazi, the Libyan tribes of Wafala and Obeda are fighting against the NATO rebels. In CERT, an estimated 1,000 NATO rebels have been killed, most of them coming from Misrata. The National Transitional Council finally provided a grossly deflated figure of 30 NATO rebels killed and about 50 injured over the last few weeks since its NATO rebels gathered around the city of Bani Walid. Two days ago, after the Libya Liberal Youth Group rose up to defeat the NATO rebels in the area, the green flag of Libya continues to fly over Al Fatah University in Tripoli. The southern city of Saba is still under the control of the Libyan military and the Tareg warriors who have come to help the Libyan people fight against mercenaries from Qatar, Egypt, Jordan, the United States, France, Britain, and other European countries. Approximately 10,000 Taregs have come to Libya from Niger, from Algeria, and Mali. The Libyan military and warriors continue to deploy guerrilla tactics against the NATO rebels. In Sabah, 
200 NATO rebels were killed or captured. The battles in Saba have been an ebb and flow, with the latest being a counterattack by the Libyan military and the Tareg warriors, resulting in 212 NATO rebels being killed and 320 of them being wounded, and approximately 200 captured. NATO bombed a hospital in Sirte. Many children were killed, including some doctors and medical workers. While the British media continues to publish one-sided lies about the Libyan military killing anti-Gaddafi persons in Sirte, Musa Ibrahim, the official spokesperson for the Libyan government, stated, Between yesterday and this morning, 151 civilians were killed inside the homes as the grad rockets and other explosives fell upon their heads. The city hospital stopped functioning altogether last night. Patients died simply because nothing can be done to help them. But clearly, NATO's bombings and the rockets being fired upon CERT is killing a large number of people. Yet, the British and other NATO forces claim the Libyan military has killed these people.